I am here with Brandon Bennett and excited to talk with him about what kinds of uh, lessons he's learning as he has been building his business. So Brandon is a member of my Master Heart Business Mentoring Group, and he is a life and career coach, um, especially helping people who consider themselves uh, heart-centered professionals. Uh, and, and Brandon, you can say a bit about your background if you'd like, but welcome and uh, thanks for doing this. Yeah, yeah, it's a pleasure being with you, George. Um, a little bit of my background. Sure, yeah, um, please. Yeah, just to, to, to put a little bit of that out there. So as you were mentioning, I'm a purposeful career and, and life coach. And one of the aspects that I recognize uh, within my own growth as well as uh, on a professional level was I had this, this big vision on what was supposed to be the mountaintop, at least something that I had in my head visually. And it was centered around money and it was centered around prestige and it was centered around brand. And one of the cool things about that was that I, I did receive this. I did cre create this in terms of working for the number one valued sports franchise in the world, healthy six-figure income, um, you know, had, had created this this dynamic where I was doing work that um, I thought on an intellectual or on a, on a mind level would be fulfilling and would lead to happiness. And what I realized was that on a deeper level, um, I was being called forward to something that was, that was much deeper than what I had an original vision for at first. So my path led me to you know, having a breakdown in my in my health, which which led me to completely, you know, going on different protocols and working with different professionals on the on the holistic healing space to completely transform my health. And once I became more and more self aware of not only the importance of the mind to body connection when it comes to health, but also I started to become more aware of certain sensitivities, whether it be to to the environment, whether it be to uh, being introverted and needing a certain amount of space alone in order to operate and thrive at my best, um, I realized that this this career that again was perceptually the the mountaintop it no longer served me. So I started to put more and more attention and awareness towards what was it that I would love and and um, what were some of the different qualities and traits of a career or of a profession that would create a sense of peace and joy and happiness while at the same time utilizing my own story as well as strengths and skills um, that I may have continued to develop over the years. And I guess the short story of a, the short version of a long story is that it's, this is what led me into to the work that I do today. Awesome, yeah. Yeah, it's great that you have experienced the kind of um, sort of dissatisfaction and misalignment that, that you're, you know, now helping others to, um, you know, to, to do something about. So um, as you've been growing your business, maybe, maybe you could start by sharing how you got uh, your initial clients. And then now, as you are working more on content and stuff, you're kind of moving into kind of getting clients uh, through, through the messaging. But, but how did you initially get your, your first clients as a life coach? Yeah, that's a really good question, George. So one of the biggest areas that I recognized where I could see a problem uh, from my own experience was centered around stress. And I was someone who was, was in the corporate, you know, executive sales environment. And I was working maybe 60, sometimes 70 hours a week. And I, you know, ultimately, as I mentioned before, had this, this breakdown in my health. I mean, I had brain fog, mental fatigue. I had um, a lack of energy at a certain period of time where I was able to, unable to even get out of bed. And ultimately I was unhappy. And after having this breakthrough when it came to my health, I realized and I saw it as clear as day that I'm surrounded by individuals and people who are experiencing these same issues when it comes to their health. So since I had relationships from in the professional sports arena, which is where I worked nearly a decade in, in executive sales, I just went back to the individuals who I already had relationships with and in a sense reintroduced myself, told them what I was about, 
um, a lot of them could kind of see the transformation within my own self. You know, they saw that I had lost 50 to 60 pounds and saw that I was in um, just a, in a much different type of, of, of head space uh, than maybe I had previously showed up. So that's where I ultimately started to, to really, you know, craft my coaching skills and started working with people. It was more around ambitious, um, you know, kind of uh, overstressed and overwhelmed executives with on, on the sales route or in the marketing space who were just desiring a desiring to create more self-awareness and reduce stress within their lives. Yeah, man, that's, you know, it's so powerful to, uh, and I think this is worth emphasizing that when our own network sees the change in our own life, that's the most powerful testimonial you know, for our work, at least in the beginning, right? In the beginning when like our marketing isn't filled with testimonials from 50 clients or whatever, it's like, hey, look at the change I've made in my own life. Um, and, and to not be afraid to talk about that. So that's what you did, mm -hmm. right? You went out and like you said, reintroduce yourself to your colleagues, um, to the people that you already knew. And, and, and so when you said that you started talking about your coaching, I know a lot of people are shy. Well, a lot of people are, are just self-employed people are shy about talking about their own work. Mm. So what do you, what do you advise there? I mean, how did you do it? How did you, how did you have the, the courage to uh, talk to your call, talk to the people that it was in a different context professionally and, and approach them about, you know, your, your new self-employment or your new business? Yeah, no, that's another great question, George. I, if I'm, if I'm tuning back into that particular period of time, it was, you know, I myself had experienced so much personal transformation, you know, and I had invested so much, what I would say, resources towards learning more about, you know, the mind, the body, um, going through yoga and meditation training, going through holistic nutrition training, going through um, uh, functional nutrition, all these different aspects, just to better understand this this body that we have and how to better take care of it. And I feel like in my experience, and I'm sure other people can relate to this too, when you feel a certain connection or you feel a certain calling that something inside of you desires to be expressed, then even if there are certain fears and there's just certain elements that maybe want to, to reduce and bring you down to that smaller version, um, in, in my case, you know, I allowed myself to just to humble myself and say, hey, like, this is uh, something I'm creating. This is something that's new. And this is something I'm passionate about. And this is something that is it's deeper than just um, a sense of, you know, receiving income or a paycheck. This is something that I feel very much connected to. And if it aligns, if it makes sense, I would love to speak to you you know, about certain issues and see if there may be some synergy on, on working with one another. I like that. Yeah. I, I like that you are, are coming from an outpouring of, uh, well, your genuine excitement about, about the, about the changes you've experienced and, um, you know, you're kind of tapping their curiosity about it and to say, Hey, you know, if you're, you know, given that we have a bit of a relationship, if you want to kind of hear more about this or, or see if I can be helpful, uh, maybe to you or to somebody you know. Um, and I, I like that. And, and I like that you were upfront about the fact that you know you're starting this new thing. Um, I'm. I believe that most people want to help other small business or want to help small business owners, whether they are one or not. They want to see a, um, yeah, a, a, you know. So when our friends or colleagues come to us saying about a new thing and I'm genuinely excited about it and it's, it's, it's coming out of um, my own transformation, you know, I think, I think most people are, are open to, to, to supporting. So, so now uh, you are moving more into writing and, and creating content. And um, that's another area where a lot of people are shy about it. Um, how are you relating to that? Kind of tell, talk us through a little bit about your, your growth into that area. Yeah, you know, with, um, for me with writing, writing is something that I, uh, 
it's 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 an area that I feel such a deep connection to, and I feel such a I feel like I'm a happier person one when I'm doing it, and two it's it's just a medium it's an outlet that I feel very comfortable and feel very aligned to so when it came or when it first came to putting myself out there and sharing, you know, it's funny, I've, I've probably produced or I've probably shared maybe over the years, maybe, I don't know, 60, 70 different blogs. But um, I remember the first one that I really put out there was why I left my dream job. And I was so afraid and I had so much fear around putting myself out there and putting my own thoughts and my own perception of, of where I was at and why I ch make the decision to choose what I was kind of the path I was going into. Um, and I believe, you know, for myself, and I'm sure many other people out there, um, writing is the thing that, that really gives me a great sense of energy. And, you know, when it comes to how I operate and how I believe that, you know, a lot of us here on this planet can 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 really produce and operate from. Um, I believe there's there's certain elements or there's certain pieces that when we tap a little bit more into those, and they may be uncomfortable, but we can have this sense of, you know, uh, a certain level of expansion whenever we're doing something that's actually growing us. And and for me, it's almost um, I think it's this element of if. If I'm not writing, <laughs> then then I'm not as happy as as I probably you know can be. So just having the practice and having the routine of of, of writing, not only for myself, journaling every single day, um, that's a process that that really benefits and I find value in. But also sharing my perception and sharing experiences and putting material and info out there that I remember within my own journey before I, you know, went into coaching and, and I was in a position where I felt stuck and, and felt like I was in a career that maybe was no longer serving me. There were other individuals who inspired me who put out content that I felt a certain level of connection to. So there's this, I, I feel there's this sense of doing the planet and doing humanity a disservice if there's something that you feel led to express and, and, and you don't put it out there. So that's my mm. way of kind of looking at it and continuing to to move yeah. forward with it. Yeah, absolutely. When when there has been a transformation in our own life, um, whether it's a physical transformation, emotional, or mental transformation, you you know you 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 have some insight. Uh, chances are somebody out there needs it, mm. um, and some chances are it's somebody in your own circle who needs to read that, hear that. And so I'm grateful that you are putting this out there. So, all right. Well, I, I want to talk about, um, you know, a lot of, well, I, you know, a lot of people here are kind of getting to know you and you uh, moved uh, countries, <laughs> you know, you, you are now living in Costa Rica. Um, actually, I'm not hearing the birds right now, but we, we, yeah, we it's a little started, bit of rain, <laughs> a little, a little bit, bit of rain. rain. Got it. <laughs> but when we said before we started recording, there, there were the birds uh, in the background. Yeah. Um, so do you want to tell us a bit about that transition? Like that is a big move. Um, how did you have the courage to do it? Um, yeah. Kind of talk us a little bit through the kind of emotional aspect of mm. uprooting from where you were comfortable or, or maybe not comfortable, um, but but making that courageous choice. Yeah, yeah, oh, man. Another beautiful question. <laughs> um, I'm trying to see what's the best way to start. The this this Costa Rica image or this vision of of being out here. It's interesting because it was created um, before I ever even having been here. You know, the the earliest memory that I can remember of having was um, when I went through my, my yoga and meditation teacher training about five years ago, I was in Ecuador for about two months. And this was my first time I was someone who was so used to to kind of, you know, um, almost in a sense being Superman, like showing up for so many other people, whether it's family, whether it's colleagues, whether it's friends. And this was a period in my life where I had 
um, intentionally created more space and more more downtime and stillness for myself. So I ended up traveling to to Ecuador and I was in the mountains and I was eating tropical fruits and I was just very connected to nature. And I had never experienced that before in my life. And it was such a profound experience for me while I was out there. And I remember this is at the very beginning of my, my coaching journey, because at that point I didn't have any clients. I had resigned about, about, what is that? About half a year prior to that point. And I was kind of in this, just in this, this state of this space of this exploration and being open with that. And while I was out there, I said, man, this is, this is so amazing. This is something that I see, or I have a, a, a inclination that I would love to be able to create from this and love to be able to live in an environment that is similar to this. And, you know, fast forward years, you know, over the process of, you know, five years, that seed continued to show up in different, different areas at different times at different paths um, throughout throughout my life. And, you know, it kind of reached a uh, it kind of reached a climax. Um, this is actually before, this was at the beginning of 2020. This was especially before the, the pandemic. I was on a coaching call and on the other end of the coaching call, I was in dialogue with someone and them, um, and this particular person had recently lived in Ecuador. And um, excuse me, in Costa Rica, I'm off on that. They had recently had previously lived in Costa Rica. And I just felt this huge expansion in my body through that conversation of, of having with them around this. And um, I just said, you know, I approached my partner and I said, hey, you know, I really feel a deep connection to this. I don't know why, I don't know where it's coming from, but I feel like this, this is, would be an amazing t thing for us to do, for us to, to explore and to go navigate through. And um, fast forward, you know, certain things shifted into the world. And I was like, I don't know if this is going to end up happening, but, you know, we ended up kind of moving beyond the fear and saying, focusing on the big picture and saying like, let's do it, you know, sold off all of my things and, 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 um, you know, have been out here ever since. And I absolutely, absolutely love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing that, and, and where were you previously? I was in Austin, Texas. Okay. Yeah. And the nice. cool thing, I'll say this, just Austin is an amazing place. Right. Like, I love Austin. So I, I, I share this just as an, as a distinction of following what it is that one loves mm -hmm. and not run and, and, and that's one of the things that I, I believe we all have this sense of, you know, if we focus our attention on what it is that we love or what the big picture is, mm. then I believe naturally, you know, we can navigate and we can be guided to, to where that is uh, mm -hmm. for us. Mm. Well, um, speaking of what you love, the work that you do now is something that's uh, much more fulfilling than, than before. So uh, tell us about who your ideal client is and what kind of work you love doing with them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because my, even as I mentioned before, when I was working with these different clients, um, when I first started on the health level, reducing stress and slowing down and being able to, to better take care of themselves, um, I recognized this thread of almost every single client that I worked with, once they were able to receive more uh, self-awareness and more self-empowerment on how to better take care of themselves, a lot of these people actually transitioned into other careers and other jobs. And I recognize this theme or this pattern of being these individuals being ambitious, heart-centered, um, maybe they're at a place, you know, they're, they're, they're working in a position that on the surface, it seems like they're in a great spot and, and that they've, you know, kind of reached this, this climax, but they ultimately, they feel stuck. And they feel like, you know, they're so used to being the, the person that shows up for other people, the person that people can depend on, that when it comes to them themselves, they, they may feel or not even necessarily know how to ask 
or support because they're the ones who people are always coming to. So that is the actual, um, tends to more time to not to be the, the, the clients whom I, I serve and who I work with. And we really, the biggest thing we really do from the start is we really slow down because a big part of, you know, my work and it's kind of uh, unconventional when we talk about the pace that maybe society may move at or just with technology and all these beautiful aspects that we have access to is to really slow individuals down and to be a stand and to be a support system so that anything can be expressed, anything can be shared and we can see what it is where someone's unique gifts or strengths or skills are at so that they can ultimately choose what their next step is for them and what's going to create more of a sense of fulfillment and peace and happiness within their own lives. Mm, beautifully said. Yeah. Well, if anybody watching or listening to this is feeling resonate resonant with Brandon's energy, uh, well, Brandon, what would be the next step if someone says, I want to maybe work with you? Yeah, you can either reach out to me on my, my website um, directly. Um, I think that would be the best way. And there's there's multiple, you know, opportunities to read, you know, more information or mm -hmm. content to see again if there is some resonation. Uh, because when it comes to coaching, there's there's a certain relationship and a certain level of yeah. you know, both people really filling into and seeing if there's a That's mutual important. fit. Yeah. Um, so from there you can you can check me out on the website and then if, if it makes sense and it aligns, then we can actually set up a a 30 minute discovery call to go a little bit deeper and, and see if it may make sense to, to work with one another. The website is Brandon Bennett. I mean, it's your name.com. So Brandon, uh, B R A N D O N Bennett is with two N's and two T's. So B E N N E T T. So Brandon Bennett.com. Of course, I'll have the link below and you're also active on, uh, on, on social media, a couple of places and on medium as well. You have some videos, so, of course, I'll link to those in the notes below. But, Brandon, thank you so much for doing this. Any other, any kind of final words of encouragement, affirmation for, for those who are, who are watching or listening? Yeah. No, first off, I want to just acknowledge you and express gratitude and appreciation for you and the, and the work that you do, George, because I can say as someone who's, who's been on this path in this, in this journey for, um, on a solopreneur journey for almost five years that um you can there's a lot of noise <laughs> that is out yeah. there you know whether it be through coaches or marketing or, or or other people and it's um i can if i could offer any advice to other people is for people who you feel that you resonate with you know people mentors or people who are maybe in a in a in a different state who you look up to um really you know put more time and attention towards those people because they can bring you up and also um, support you in a way that maybe others who may be around you or others who may not necessarily have that experience or that um, you know type of uh, for lack of better terms that, that that type of energy in which you're choosing to channel and choosing to to grow into um, yeah, so just 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 recognizing that, and I just again want to acknowledge you. And um, if you're you're watching this, just know just it's a journey. So the more mindful and graceful and peaceful and self love that you can exhibit towards yourself, um, the more you know compassionate, and the more you'll continue to just take steps forward. Beautifully said. Thank you so much, Brandon, for the work that you do. Um, and the way that you are as you as you go about doing it. And um, I wish you continued uh, growth and fulfillment as you do all this. Thank you. Thank you, George. I appreciate you having me. Thanks.